My name is Erica Zambek. My name is Maya Bobby. And we just got done helping out at the tea ceremony hosted by the Fort Worth Botanical Gardens, held by the Fort Worth Japanese Association. Hi, I'm Mai Willoughby. My mom, Yukiko, is Japanese from Kanagawa Ken, or Kanagawa Prefecture. 30 years ago, she started working for Hoshugo, or Japanese School of Dallas. My dad, on the other hand, used to be a part of the Navy, or more specifically, the Air Force and was stationed in Japan. My mom, Yukiko Willoughby, is part of DJA, or Dallas Japanese Association, through the Japanese School of Dallas, Hoshiko. I went to said school for most of my life, and met many other Japanese associates who are also teachers, volunteers, and other associates. From a young age, I went to some events and eventually participated as a volunteer. Personally, I use these events to not only strengthen my connections with acquaintances, but to also practice my Japanese. I'm thinking. I'm thankful that I got to experience this community. It has broadened my horizons. As I got older, I started to appreciate my Japanese heritage more. Around middle school, I got interested in kimono and yukata, and liked wearing them. Though I mostly learned my skills off of YouTube back then. When I was invited to a skip booth, that's when I really learned that dressing people in such clothing is actually pretty difficult. Recently, in 2023, I took a kitsuke class to hone my skills, at least a little. Doing so, I now understand the wearing process of kimono and katas more. Hi, I'm Haruka Zambek. My mother is Japanese and my father is American, and I was born in Dallas, Texas. I've been to Japan almost every summer before COVID to attend Japanese school. And I learned Japanese predominantly from my mother and anime. And I also help with Kitsuke alongside Mai. But unlike her, my passion is in the clothing and the craft that goes into it. Ever since I was young, I consumed a considerable amount of Japanese media especially anime and video games. I specifically enjoyed Magical Girl animes, Slice of Life animes, and five fantasy video games. Currently, my love of fantasy still lives on, and I cosplay for many high fantasy video games, such as Baldur's Gate 3. I fell in love with the characters, the costumes, and the general genre of fantasy. I was impressed with the world building and the way characters tied into it. But most importantly, I looked up to the characters, and I admired their designs and the choices the artists have made for them. When I was 14, I started getting interested in creating and wearing costumes to make me look and feel like the characters I fell in love with. It started with an anime named Hatalia. I'm no longer a fan, but it had a big part in my middle school life. As time went by, I continued to create costumes and wore them for Halloween. In high school, my competitive nature had won and I entered into my first cosplay competition at a local anime convention. I was very naive and lost, but I used the critiques that the judges gave me and eventually won my first competition as Kaya from the Chinese game Genshin Impact. The thrill of the stage and the pride that I held for my craft took me into a direction I would have never considered for myself many years ago. Today, I'm proud of my younger self to step into a world of unknowns and use my creativity to learn and breathe life into the characters that I've only ever seen behind the screen. I will continue to keep making costumes and competing as long as I am physically able to.